guys having a good time so far? Yeah. yeah. All right. I need you to make some noise for a brother tonight. He goes by the name of Sandro Rodriguez. Pop it up, y'all. Come on. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Brooklyn, make some noise. Yeah. All the way from Detroit. Oh, good time. Yeah, man. Good Hell good yeah. Let's get over shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Sandro Rodriguez. I am Latino. But a lot of times when I go out and do shows, man, people... Because of my complexion, people don't know why. You know what's my ethnicity? I did a show recently, and uh, this woman came up to me. She was like, you know, I thought she was funny. I said thanks, and she was, but you know, right before you got on stage, I didn't know if you was white, if you were mixed, if you were sick. I was concerned. About you. <laughs> <laughs> so let me break it down for you guys real quick. So my mom is 100% Puerto Rican, all right, and my father was 100% not there. So that's how that all worked out. <laughs> This wasn't there. So I got everything from my mom. <laughs> it's been a tough year, man. I'm I'm single now, man. I recently just broke up with my girl, man. But I had to break up with her. I did, man, because she was insecure. She was jealous. She had a shitty job. <laughs> she was gaining weight. And she lived with her mom. We was too compatible, man. There's <laughs> two losers in this one. One of us has got to go. <laughs> so now my family's trying to push me out. And, you know, I was set up on a blind date. Anybody here, anybody here ever been on a blind date? No. It's crazy, right? I was set up on a blind date. I went to this girl at this restaurant. I said, hey, how you doing? My name is Sandra. She said, hi, my name is Amy. I said, and I said, yeah, you know, I grew up in Southwest Detroit. I'm Puerto Rican. She, she was like, oh. so you're like urban Latino then, right? I was urban Latino. <laughs> you know, where like your mom is fat and on welfare. Uh, you got like 10 brothers and sisters and you don't know who the father is. You know, urban Latino. I was like, she just profiled the shit out of me right in his first meet. We haven't even eaten yet. So I'm like, you know what? Where's your family from? She goes, oh, my family's from Tennessee. I'm like, oh, okay. So then you're white trailer trash. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean? You know, you know, like your mom and dad or brother and sister. <laughs> uh, your first sexual encounter was with your brother. You guys have a family saying that says, nothing spells loving like marrying your cousin. You know, white trailer trash. <laughs> We've been together for three months, man. I love this girl. She's amazing, you guys. Yo, she understands me, son. You know what I mean? Like, she's awesome. It's, 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 it's great, man. We're doing good, man. You know? Anybody here got friends that whenever they you see your friends for a while and they always want to throw you some, like, off-the-wall advice. They always want to tell you something like you should, like, something that like you should already know. I was hanging out with my boy yesterday and I haven't seen him for a while. He just had a kid. And I was like, yo, man, congratulations on your daughter. He was like... Yo, man, it's good to see you, son. Yo, man, you yo, you got fat, kid. I'm like, I just congratulated you on your, on your kid, man. I like, nah, I'm just saying, dude, like, yo, I used to work out back in the day. I said, yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago, you know, your body has what's called muscle memory. Anybody ever heard of that? Yeah. Well, I didn't know what that was. I said, what is that? He said, muscle memory is basically when you worked out before, when you start working out again, your body will adapt to it, and you burn it right, right away. So I said, you know what? I went to the gym with him the other day. He's right. My body does have muscle memory. Yeah. And remember the last time that I was here, I couldn't lift that shit then. <laughs> what the hell was the driver doing now? <laughs> Retard, man. <laughs> I used to live in Los Angeles. I was in LA. For, anybody here been to LA? Yep. LA is cool, man. I've been for about seven years. LA is an extreme state, though. Because they do the same things we do here, only they do it to an extreme level. You know, this guy over there, he had a, a piercing in his neck with a steel rod and a birdcage hanging from it. <laughs> Another friend of mine, he had a tattoo on his face. On his face. Now, you know that's going to suck for him when he goes for a job interview. I remember one day he called me. He's like, yo, son, I got a job interview at Chase Bank. I said, shit, good luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> goes to the interview, calls me back, heated. He's like, yo, son, I didn't get the job, man. I didn't get the job because they were racist. They were racist. I'm like, dude, you're white. <laughs> so I sat him down. I was like, skeezy. <laughs> uh, must have been, he must have had hippies for parents. I said, I don't know what for. If I don't know if racism is what didn't get you that job, he said, what do you mean? I don't know how comfortable I would feel walking into a bank, handing over my personal banking information to a guy with a tattoo that said, "Born a thief, die a thief." I don't feel my money safe. Now. <laughs> Before I leave, man, fellas, make some noise. Hey. I got some advice for you guys, man. I got some advice for you guys. Listen. Always think before you answer your girl, whatever she ever asks, all right? Remember, whenever she asks you a question, think about it and then give her a response, right? I was with Trailer Trash the other day, right? 
Yeah, we was on my mom's couch. My mom wasn't home, so I had this had the place to myself. You know what I'm saying? It was great. I'm sitting there with children on the couch, we're about to get into me. She looks into my eyes, she said, Hey son. I said, Hey, what up? She said, you can put it wherever you want. So I was acting stupid. I was like, I didn't hear what you said. What'd you say? She goes, You can put it wherever you want. I said, Cool. Can I put it in your sister? She smacked the shit out of me and left. <laughs> so I'm single again, man. Brooklyn, make some noise. <laughs> Shout out to Detroit and Puerto Rico, man. Thank you very much. Come on, y'all. Clap it up. Clap it up for the brother, man.